Ginger, look, welcome and thank you very much for your time this morning in sharing your wonderful insights on how to, you know, have extraordinary online consultations. So without any further ado, I'm going to <laughs> hand it over to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And welcome, everyone. And thank you for your graciousness and uh, all that was going on tonight. Oh. Uh, um, as Suzanne mentioned last week, first of all, I, I don't know if you all know me or not, um, but I'm Ginger Burr. I live in the States, in the Boston, Massachusetts area, and I've been an image consultant for over 30 years and um, have known some of you uh, for a while and have had the great pleasure of um, knowing Suzanne now for two or three years, so that's been quite a, a delight. And um, this past... February, I did this presentation in um, at Brenda Kinsell's MMB retreat for image consultants, and Suzanne was at Fashion Week, so she didn't get to um, see my presentation. And it's something that I've been doing for quite a while now: is offering virtual consultations, as perhaps many of you are as well. And so she asked me if I would come in and show you what I also presented to the um, MMBs and to show you kind of how I work. Now, I know everybody may work differently, but this is what's been working for me. So I'm happy to share this with you as well. Um, already know that. So I'm just curious, I have to find the chat here, but um, how many of you are currently offering virtual consultations of some kind? I know last week in this group, because I attended, you um, talked about color analysis virtually. So um, I'm just curious as to who's, and if you are doing it, like what are you doing? Are you doing shopping, wardrobe, color? Like what kinds of things are you, all of that? What kinds of things are you offering? Wardrobe, shopping, color, colors and wardrobe. Color and style, great. Oh, Marion, hello, wow, oh, and so cool, so fun to see all of you here. Wardrobe coming up, okay. Not yet, but trying wardrobe, great, okay. Oh, this is good, terrific, okay. I'm gonna move that over here. So this is, I, I didn't think it would be a totally new topic to any of you, but what I learned last week too in the color system, color presentation is that it's nice to see what other people are doing and how they're doing it and and to be able to incorporate some of that into your own so I'll be interested to hear what might be different and what you're doing compared to what I'm doing as we go along so feel free to share that as well um, so you know what is virtual consulting I think you I'm sure you all know that but it's anything where you're um, talking it can be done virtually and um, color analysis as you all know from last week and I've also been doing those um, virtually I called it long distance but I guess virtually is another way of saying it um, wardrobe consultations I do a lot of those and um, I'm going to show you exactly I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I, I do it um, shopping um, I know many people do virtual shopping these days and right now we're, we're all in lockdown that's pretty much the only way to shop so um, it's kind of nice that we can do that online um, the pros of virtual consulting are that you can work with more people and I have clients all over the world as perhaps many of you do too. I have them in Singapore and Guam and the UK and um, lots of different places and other places in the States as well that were where I'm not in close proximity to them so we work virtually and I love that part because I think part of what always frustrated me with um, when I first got into this business is there's only so many people that you can work with and I love the idea of being able to spread out and work with more um, I just want to see I see a couple more things okay great thanks Louise um, all right let me just see here okay um, also th this has always been a biggie for me because I mean I live in a fairly big city and I, I don't know if all of you do or not but there are a lot of people out there who don't live anywhere near a big city where it seems that there tend to be more image consultants and so again this allows us to be able to help those people who otherwise would not have access to an image consultant um, and I love this part it allows us to be able to leverage our time you know when I was out at the retreat of Brenda's 
one of the things that we were talking about, and I don't know if this is an issue in Australia when we're all not in lockdown, of course, but there are times when I can travel uh, an hour and a half one way to do a half an hour or 45 minute consultation, which it never used to be that way, but traffic has gotten so horrible that it just takes a lot of time to get everywhere. And when you can work from the comfort of your own home on your computer, you can have one client right after the other and not have to be spending two or three hours in the car. Um, you can do it from anywhere. That's the other thing I've liked. I've always admired my coach or envied, I should say, my coaching friends who can go anywhere. They can be on vacation if they want to and do a consultation or they can just pick up and move somewhere and they can take their business with them. So I love the idea that we can do that as well. And for us, um, and I don't know what all of your weather is there in uh, where all of you are in Australia or I know Marion is um, from California, but with the weather here, we did not have a bad winter, but there are times when like everything is constantly being canceled. But unless, you know, there's some kind of a power outage or something, virtually you can work anywhere and at any time and not have to worry about whether it's snowing out or raining out or too hot. Um, some of the cons are, at least I have found this, the client has to be more proactive. And I'll show you some of what I mean and what I need the clients to do to be prepared. Um, you're not physically, if you're shopping, you're not physically in the dressing room with them. So there are times, I'm sure you've all found this too, when you're in the dressing room and you can just say, you know, just humor me and try this on and maybe it'll look terrible and we'll just have a good laugh and we'll take it off. But you know, many, many times what we find is they say, oh, I never would have tried this on and it's so great. And I find that my clients, when we work virtually, sometimes are a little more reticent to order something if they it's not familiar to them and because then they have to do the buying and the paying and the returning if it doesn't work out whereas in a dressing room they can put it on take it off in a matter of seconds so that's definitely one of the cons um, the time differences you know having had a, a client in singapore it's, and you can see where our time difference here is quite different. Um, you know, there were a lot of times when we were both, one of us was sleeping. So, you know, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to work out that time difference, but it's definitely doable. Technology. Definitely, you have to be willing to play with technology and learn new technology. But it's, I found it to be be more and more user friendly these days and there's always somebody who can help you if you get stuck. Um, so pricing and strategy of the, all of that and this is something I'll run through this very quickly because I don't know if this part interests you or not but um, I always work in packages. I know there are a lot of people. I'd be curious to know how many people work in programs or packages however you want to call it and how many of you work hourly. Do you is, Everybody have a different way of working, or does some of you do both of those things? Oh, oh, a lot of packages. Okay. Oh, lots of packages. Hourly, hourly. Okay, now we're catching, the hourlies are catching up. Okay. Okay, so it seems to be, from those of you who are mentioning anyway, it seems to be a little bit of a mix. All right, great. I mean, obviously, this can be done either way. I tend to work in packages because I don't want to have to keep having to bill people. Um, so that works out well for me, and I've been doing that for over 10 years, but I know lots of people, Brenda Kinsella is one of them, who only works hourly, and that works perfectly for her. So there's no right or wrong way to do that. Oops. Um, forms of payment, I don't know if we need to get into that. We can talk about that later if that's an issue or not. Um, and I don't know what I meant by this, <laughs> so we'll just skip that one. I don't remember why I put that in there. And, you know, for whom does this work best? I have found that virtual consulting, in terms of the, when we're talking about the client, it works for somebody who generally enjoys, to some extent, the process of putting together a wardrobe and um, kind of playing with how to make things work for her and, and has a desire to, um, just experience that. It doesn't work as well for someone who totally detests shopping 
and never ever wants to be doing anything in her wardrobe. I have several clients who I know I have to go when we're shopping in person, I know I have to get to the store, I have to pre-shop, and I know if I'm lucky, I have an hour and a half with her in the dressing room before she is just spent and she just will not look at one more thing. And so I find that virtual consulting doesn't work quite as well for those people because they do have to put a certain amount of energy and focus into this as well. And then there's that whole thing about whether or not you discount your virtual consulting because you don't have to be traveling around as much um, and you can leverage your time a little bit more or whether or not to discount. When I really looked at what I'm charging, it turns out I'm really not discounting at all for my virtual work. It pretty much works out to about the same as when I'm working in person. And um, I don't, when I'm working with somebody in person, I do not charge for traveling. I just require a certain amount, generally speaking anyway, a certain amount of um, time that I'll spend with them if I have to travel any distance. So you have to be willing to do that. And then um, what am I promising to deliver? And that's really important to, you know, kind of be upfront with someone because, you know, I tell people that when I'm, when we're shopping, anybody pretty much is shopping virtually, at least this has been my experience and you may all have had it different. Um, that if you have a like a 40 to 50% success rate when you're shopping virtually, you're really good. Because you don't know how a fabric feels. You don't really know how it's going to fall. And it's being shown in somebody who's 5'10 or taller and generally pretty slim and, and um, young and you know straight bodied and all of that kind of thing. So you don't really know. So I'm very upfront with people about what we can accomplish when we're working virtually as that would be maybe different from what we would do in person. And then, and then how do you not give away too much or fee or have, uh, or have them feeling overwhelmed? Whoops. Um, and that, that's kind of stuff that we'll get into in a, in a minute. Um, I see a question over here. What types of forms of payments do people use? Um, PayPal. Okay. I pretty much take all forms of all credit cards. I take all credit cards. I take PayPal. I'll even do, I don't know if you guys have Venmo. Do you have Venmo? No. Okay. Uh, Venmo is just something where you can just pay somebody directly into their, their checking account. Um, and so I, I do all of those. I don't know what other people do and I don't know what might be different in your area, but I do PayPal and then all kinds of credit cards and even and from my regular clients who I've been working with for many years I, I'll do checks as well if that's what they prefer but if they're doing a payment plan it's always credit card um, or PayPal if that's what they prefer all right so with virtual consulting I find that even more than being in person you have to be very 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 clear about what needs to happen and how they need how this is all set up um, and you need the right technology. If there are too many moving parts, when, before I had some of the technology that I have, you know, people would send me these emails with like 45 links in them, and then I'd try to send them back examples of what I was talking about, and then I'd have to keep track of all of these emails. Made me crazy. And did not feel, I spent so much time trying, to, trying, time trying to hunt down different emails where they, I know they sent me a picture of this that it just was not cost effective or efficient or anything like that. Um, so I don't like to have too many moving parts. I like to have it all contained. Um, so for color analysis, this is one of the things that I do offer long distance. Now, I'm actually, after what you all were showing last week, I am going to see what I can do in terms of doing one with the photos on the screen and the pictures. Um, that I print off on my computer. I'm a little nervous about whether or not I'll get the right color resolution, but I've already got somebody lined up to kind of play with this a little bit. What I have traditionally done, and it's actually worked out well, I've done it with clients all over the world, is I have them send me photos of themselves in the mail, snail mail. Send it to me, whether they're in, um, I've had women in Spain, and oops, sorry, that's my alarm telling me that I need to come talk to you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, so I've done it with people all over the world. 
and they have to send me the photos because I want them to have them developed and then I want them to be really hold them up and be very, very clear that their skin color really does look like that and their hair color really does look like that. It's been pretty, actually, it's been very successful in doing that. It's more labor intensive on their part, so they do have to be willing to do that. But I have seen in person a couple of people who I have done it this way uh, for them. They happen to be traveling up to my area, and we got together and they had their palette, and I looked at it near them and it was very accurate. So it it works. It is a little more labor intensive than what um, um, Evelyn was showing us last week. So I'm gonna play a little bit with your idea and see what happens with that as well. But I, this definitely does work if you don't mind that little extra step and getting them to do that little extra step. Um, now for wardrobe consulting, this is one of my favorite things to do virtually is wardrobe consultings. And what I do, and I'm happy to send you any of my, um, like I have a write up of how they need to take photos. I suspect many of you already have that same kind of thing. In fact, I think um, Evelyn that you talked a bit about this last week, um, but I'm happy to share with you what I um, send to them and I can just uh, forward it to Suzanne or something if anybody wants to see that if that would be helpful but I show them exactly what I need from them in terms of photos in order to be able to look at their clothes with them and I um, uh, I have it like you know really spelled out in great detail I also suggest equipment that they can have use so that they can take pictures and they're all very inexpensive things that they can get on Amazon. Again, I'm happy to share. Oh, actually, in a second, I'll show you what it is. But I'm also happy to share the exact links with you. And again, I can send that to Suzanne if that's helpful. But I have them get some very specific equipment um, that helps them to be able to take really good pictures. I also encourage them to send me a sample. I have had women take 200 to 250 photos. And the last thing I want to do is have them take that many photographs and then find out that I can't see the lighting is horrible or they've got, they're standing funny or I can't see what or they've cut off their feet or whatever it is. So I ask them to send me a sample so I can say yes, no, maybe, and we can adjust it if we need to. So then I, they can feel fairly confident that they're taking pictures in a way that will allow us to be able to get the best results for them. And then I show them where to upload the photos. And then we meet and discuss, and I'm going to show you um, all of this in a minute. Um, all right, great. Yes, I will get that um, those things to Suzanne. Let me just make myself a little note here so that I remember to send that stuff. Okay, I'll be happy to do that. All right, so how, are any of you here using Hue and Stripe? I just did check with Craig um, from Hue and Stripe to find out if there were people in um, Australia who are using it. Are any of you here using Hue and Stripe? No, nobody? Okay. I cannot encourage you enough to use this system. It is truly amazing. Okay, so, all right. Evelyn has inquired about it and thinking about it. And no, Marion, yes, I know. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Um, I believe they are great, but quite expensive. Too expensive for exchange rate. Yeah, I don't know what the exchange rate would be. It costs, well, you can offset that exchange rate. That's the whole point of this, um, is that when people buy from using Hue and Stripe, and I'll show you after how they do that, it offsets the payment. I, I think this last time I had to, it's $180 a quarter for us in the States. And the last time I think I paid them like $40 or something because I had not, you know, sold as many things that way um, to cover the entire amount of it. But it, it offsets the cost, which is the, the point. But so I, this is exclusively how I do this. And you may be able to um, work this in another system. Perhaps you have another system around that you you use, but I have found Hue and Stripe to be amazing for this. 
Um, this is the equipment that I recommend to people. Not so much this over the um, thing on the left. That's really a, just a little light to put on for doing selfies, which is just kind of fun. So I throw that in there. But um, the next <laughs> one over is a remote um, that can, will allow them to take pictures without having to lean over and hit the, the button. And um, then a very easy, lightweight, inexpensive tripod and then the little thing that screws onto the top to hold the phone. Those are the three things I've had many of my clients, whether they're local or long distance, um, get these pieces of equipment and work with them very, um, very well. Um, all right, so it's too expensive, that's $280 a quarter. Um, what I would recommend is check in with um, Craig and find out what um, stores that you shop at, um, they, have a, a, a relationship with so that you can see how you can offset that. Um, and exactly, Helen, if you have enough clients and they're buying through your system, you can actually even have them paying you money to do this. And I've had that happen from time to time, but there, I don't do quite as much with it in that way now as I used to. Um, so I work with it primarily just with my private clients. Um, but I, I, I recommend it. So here's how I do, and I, I just, I know none of you would know her, I'm sure, but um, I, I just felt it was important to kind of blank out her face. Um, this is how I do a wardrobe consultation. And this is using Human Stripe. And what I'm able to do is to have her upload her entire wardrobe here. And this woman was incredibly proactive because she labeled everything. Not everybody does that, but she labeled everything. So she could say, really want to talk to you about work dress number 13. And we would go right there. And then within this, I can't show you right here because we're not actually in the system itself. But if I click on this little, uh, the little pencil up in the left-hand corner, it takes me to a place where I can um, categorize these things. We can write notes about it, like you need to have the sleeve shortened or, you know, buy a belt or whatever it might be with this. And so I go through each one of these items with her and we talk about does it work, does it not, should you keep it, is it a good color, you know, all those things that we do with our clients that we would normally do in person. And what's really nice about this is it's incredibly efficient because first of all, they've had to go through their wardrobe and what I hear from them all the time is that they appreciated the process because it meant that they had to start culling things and deciding like, I'm not even gonna show her that because that dress doesn't fit me or I don't like it or it doesn't work in my lifestyle anymore or whatever it might be and they just get rid of it. So they've already started clearing out their closet by the time they get to me, they show me the things that they really, really have questions about. Um, and then, all right, I just noticed there was another question. Just let me whoops, see what this is here. There may be somebody in Australia who's doing something similar. I don't know. Um, Craig is incredibly responsive. If he knows that you're interested, he will, um, he'll really get on it. They're amazing there. They've been so, I've been with them since they beta tested a number of years ago and have loved working with them. Um, yes, I am using, Jane was asking, are, am I using Human Stripe for her to upload her photos? Yes, what happens is she um, I can actually have the app on her phone so that all she has, she can up upload like 10 or 12 pictures at a time. She takes them on her phone and then just hits click, 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 boom, they upload. It's really fast. Um, so I'm making them responsible for the process. Yes, now every once in a great while, someone um, needs me to upload some things, I will not upload 200 photos. But if they send me, I, one of the clients I was meeting with today, and actually she's local, but because we can't see each other in person, she wanted to meet and talk about some things that she was con either considering buying or had bought and wasn't um, sure she should keep. And um, so she had sent me like six or seven photos. And I don't mind that. I uploaded it for her because um, we're, we're newly starting out together. And normally we work together in person. So it worked out well. But this is the kind of um, email that, I mean, this person was very helpful in terms of, you know, spelling it all out. But sometimes I get emails like this that go on and on and on and on and on, at least before I was using Hue and Stripe. And it's overwhelming because you just... There's just too much to think about. So, oh, here's what I was talking about 
when I click on that little pencil up in the left hand corner, the edit tool, I can go in and, and she mentioned she made this necklace, as you can see, and we can categorize it here. We know when she bought it or uploaded it actually. Um, and so it allows us to do all of that in this, um, in this system. And then for shopping, it's an amazing tool because I can go into any of the stores and I've actually done, I've used this with my clients in Singapore um, and I just did it with, um, she told me some of the stores that they have there that they shop in. And so I was able to work with that. And then I also found out that places like Macy's will ship to Singapore. So we did some, I did some shopping with her. In fact, some of these I think are from Macy's and, and then I just went in and, made comments about you know, why I was suggesting it or how I thought it might work or what some of the problems might be and that it, why it might not work. And then she can reply back to me. So we can have this whole conversation going and I'm not thinking, uh, which talk is she talking about? I can see it, it's right there, I know for sure. And then she can click right on this picture and it takes her directly to the store so that she can go in and buy it. And when they do that, they, um, if she buys it, we then get credit for it. And while she's shopping there, once she has clicked on this link, anything else that she buys at the same time, we also get credit for. It's not a huge amount of money, but it adds up if you're doing it with enough people. Um, yeah, Polyvor used to be great, it's very true. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why they went away, but they did. Um, and then it also, so for this person in Singapore, she did not have some great resources for jewelry for me to be able to show her. So what I could do is say, okay, for your jewelry, for the black top with the uh, tie at the neck, here are some earrings that would work with that. Um, and then she, well, she, as you notice, she makes some of her jewelry, so she could have fun with it, but she could then take this information and go to one of the stores near her and select things that were similar. Um, I didn't know until she and I started working together in Singapore, you cannot try earrings on and you can't return them. So if you don't like them, you're stuck with them, which is really kind of unfortunate, but that was her situation. Um, so that's, this, these are just some testimonials from some of the clients that I've worked with um, who have just loved the whole process because it's, it keeps everything very organized, very easy, very um, efficient, and we can um, connect anytime. Um, it's just so easy to hop on and take care of it. Um, so my question to you is, one of the things when I was talking with um, Brenda and some of the women at the MMB is some of them didn't want to use Human Stripe, and we talked about how they may may be able to do this with Pinterest. I don't know how many of you use Pinterest or have any of your clients make secret Pinterest boards, but that is another way potentially that you could do it. I don't know if you can comment under things. So I don't think it would be as efficient as this, but it might be another way that you could do it. So do I get the client to upload all outfits and then send and send photos, then discuss online. So yes, what I do is I set up a Zoom consultation with them, and I share my screen very much, just like we're doing right now. Um, and we talk about everything. So yes, they upload all, whatever outfits they wanna do. I often, I had one client who, she was in one of my smaller programs, packages, and she, she uploaded like almost 200 photos. And the amount of time that she wanted to spend doing the wardrobe consultation, there was no way we were going to get through that much. So what I did was I said, I'm going to make up a section for you and just put the ones that are of highest priority into that section. So we started with those. Um, but yes, yeah, she uploaded them and all the photos there. And then we hopped on Zoom and I share my screen. So, um, but as Alice was saying, I'm, you can do the same thing with a secret Pinterest board as well. Wow, Ann Taylor blocks pins too. I wonder why they're blocking all these things. I would think it would behoove them to have people pinning things, but maybe not, I don't know. Um, so, all right, so that's pretty much how I do it. And I don't know if other people have any other questions or want to share ways in which you're doing wardrobe consultations. Um, Earthstyle.fashion, your style, that's how you pronounce your style. 
uh, is the polyborb replacement. Oh, there we go. Okay, terrific. So for that, though, that's for shopping or showing them examples of things that they would wear. That's not so much for doing a wardrobe consultation, right? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so that can, you could use a combination of your style dot fashion and and um, Pinterest and work it out that way. It sounds like if you um, don't want to do hue and stripe or have anything similar to that around you. Yeah, I I used to use Pinterest for style assessments where I would have them, and I'm sure I don't know if anyone else has done this, but I just wanted to share. Um, where you do things that you love, things that you dislike, things that you um, that inspire them. Mm -hmm. So, is has every does everybody do that? Maybe they do. I'm not sure. I've done I've done that with this, the Pinterest with Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. It's that's a handy way to do that. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I I hope this was helpful. I know that I spoke a lot about you <laughs> because that's how I do it. But it was nice that Alice and a few of you also. Uh, mentioned um, ways that you can kind of tweak it to um, to work for you as well, but it, it is all very doable. And and these days where we're we can't go out there into the stores, it's kind of nice to know that there are other options as well. Um, well, Ginger, this has been incredible and uh, so worthwhile. And uh, we will be uploading that this webinar just as soon as we can. On my um, but anyway, it was. It, look, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's going to. It's wonderful that we're now becoming quite resourceful in in sharing and helping during this time. It's um, few of my consultants have, you know, found themselves in a little bit of a, a lonely hole, and I think these weekly webinars are just amazing. It's just what we need.